Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? Man, I hope you're doing well. It is Friday, TGIF day. Finally, it's the weekend. It's good Friday too. It's good for me because I took the day off. That's why this, for those of you who watch these semi-daily, that's why this is being posted so late. My fingers are crossed. I'm hoping that I get four brand new Spydecos tomorrow, Saturday. If I do get them tomorrow, no matter when they're delivered, I will pick them up and do a uh, video. Usually I do Monday through Friday. I will do a video with uh, the new um, Spydeco. Okay? That'll be tomorrow, Saturday, then Sunday's Easter, then we'll do Monday and Tuesday. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. No matter when you watch this, you my, probably most people are watching this in the future, so everything I just told you, you don't care. <laughs> you probably can find the new <laughs> Spydecos that I was referring to on the uh, playlist. The watch today, since it's Friday, is my Rolex Precision. Precision Rolex. No, this isn't the <laughs> official brand, uh, band. Every time I talk about this, this isn't the same band. You know, someone wanted to surprise me and get me a new band. So they snuck out this watch, took it to the watchmaker. Got a decent band, skinny band, but they took all the hardware with them. Whenever you do, if you're new to watches and you get a nice watch, and but you want a new band, get the new band, but keep the hardware. Tell them to replace the hardware on the band with the hardware that you have, the original stuff. Ah, uh, hold on. Uh, oh my goodness. Just a wonderful Cuban Partagas. You know, um, a Cuban Partagas Siri P number two. Siri P number two. Oh, I love this cigar. I, I got a question. It was on my email. So usually I don't go back and forth on my email. Um, on the email that I give for when I do uh, knife trimmings. Um saying, hey, I don't smoke cigars. What recommendation would you have for a new cigar smoker? First, I'm not pushing cigar smoke, but I love smoking cigars. <laughs> That's There is a difference, okay? <laughs> there is a difference. I think nowadays we're losing that difference. My preference as a grown man who will be 60 in July, okay? Um, but... Get something milder. Don't spend the money on a Cuban. Don't find a Cuban. Don't get a fake Cuban. <laughs> as long as it's a handmade cigar, get a handmade cigar. It has to be in a humidor when you buy it. So if you go to a cigar store or a liquor store to sell cigars or wherever, if they are cigars in a box and you don't see them humidified, it could be... A small, you know, it doesn't matter how fancy the humidor is, but a handmade cigar has to be in a humidor, kept in a humidor, and then just buy one. Uh, I have smoked, a friend of mine gave me a handmade cigar for three bucks, and I enjoyed it immensely, okay? Um, so, you know, I would say... Because there's so many brands and everything. But I would say, you know, ask the person what's a nice mild smoke and get that. A Cuban cigar, while it's cool, is a lot of them are stronger than most cigars. Um, and there are mild cigars and not so mild cigars. This is the black coated DLC shown design pin. Whoops. Today, I'm trying some whiskey. You know, 
Um, I don't do whiskey a lot unless friends have it. Uh, so I have a bottle here that I haven't tipped, so I put it here. Um, even though, and I say this often, uh, this is one of my coach uh, skinny wallets. I say this often, um, how I do it. And as you get older, you'll see that you have to trick yourself, right? You know all of your vices, drinking, smoking. Oh, I have a million vices. <laughs> but um, I usually start with this first. So I don't smoke during, I mean, I don't drink during work or smoke a cigar during work. It's after. And then if I get home and I find I have a full bottle uh, left here, I start with that. Then I pause and then I pour more out of a bottle. That little pause, sometimes I'll fall asleep or get involved in something else. And it just helps me to not try to empty a bottle. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> um, the coin for today, I don't know. I, 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 all of these, I think I've shown you. I, I have a couple of coins I haven't shown you because every time I try, they look like crap. Um, on They are beautiful coins, but look like crap on the camera. But I've got to start getting a better system so that I go through all of the hundreds of coins that I have. Um, this one is from, uh, where's that date at? Oh, there's the date. Sorry. This one's from 2016. It's celebrating the 100 year anniversary from 1916 to 2016 of the National Park Service in the U.S. Just a wonderful service. Uh, one day, I haven't gone to too many of the parks I've gone to a couple I'm like everyone else maybe when I get my camper or whatever <laughs> and I start going around city to city to uh, check out some good restaurants some great cigar shops some knife shops I'll also uh, take in all of the parks as well uh, my notepad, my word notepad that I got off of Amazon. I keep going to Amazon. They have so many different, they have so many different colors and stuff. And that's why I like them. I'll tell you, I am in love with this little sucker. I know I carried it not too long ago as my keychain knife. You know, when I have... I carry two knives, one a keychain knife and then another knife. The reason you see three is I always have the knife that I've been playing with in the morning that almost makes the carry but doesn't. I have fallen in love with this thing. This is like a mighty mouse, you know? Um, this little McBee, it's the Spydeco McBee. This little knife that is built like a tank and just comes in, it's so handy and so beautiful in its simplicity. Seriously. Um, CTS XHP steel, just excellent steel. That Warncliffe blade. I love the blade. See how it swoops down on top so you can really control any cut you want to do with this little hard use little knife how about that what spiderco calls little big knives this is one of them 1.5 inches for that blade 3.8 inches total this is a little knife but man oh man it just feels solid with all this titanium look at the hammered out pivot isn't that wonderful? I mean, it is just a nice touch. Yeah, it's it's uh comes off of J. McBee, a custom knife maker, takes after one of his knives. Um, of course, titanium, 
with those four holes, a nice uh, lanyard hole as well. Make the eeny beeny clip. You know, it's funny, some smaller knives that I see with the bigger three screw clip could really use this smaller one. I like this. What a wonderful knife. Strong, sturdy, has that strong Chris Reeve integral frame lock. Even inside, look, where well, you put your thumb to unlock it, it even has detail in it. This small knife has a lot of great details. This McB is a beast. I like it. What a little knife. Only right hand, tip up only. But, you know, do you need a clip for a knife this small? Real nice. The Hannon by Southerd. The Hannon by Brad Southerd. This is an interesting flipper. You notice I always forget that it has the compression lock. I always forget. Uh, a nice recurve, full flat ground blade, S30V steel, of course. Brad Southerd was the first maker to make a Spydeco flipper, the Southerd. That was the first one. Spydeco came late to the flipper game, but of course they would because the Spidey hole is their logo, is their brand. But man, I love my Southerds. This is the third knife by Brad and it's a doozy. Nice jimping right here. The recurve gives you that belly that really gives you a lot to work with with that blade. Titanium bolsters, smooth G10. Spyderco does smooth G10 better than anyone. These scales are unfreaking believable. They feel so good, luxurious. Then you have that titanium bolster. You see the lanyard hole. Titanium liners, they're skeletonized. The blade is just really nice. I love this. And the compression lock. You know, Spyderco has really gone crazy with flippers with compression locks lately. Uh, some of them I like better than others. By the way, this is more of a push button flipper, I find, at least for me. Um, and it's smooth. It will go down there. The thing with a flipper and a compression lock is at some point you got to move your finger out of the way because the flipper's coming back there, right? But, uh... Real nice, small, for a small knife, has a G10 backspacer, it really works for me. I like the Spyderco Hannon uh, by Brad Southerd. Not my favorite Southerd, not my favorite Spyderco, but man, with this beast and this flipper, I like it. And this is just one I've been flipping today. Um... It's just a wonderful <laughs> knife. You know, uh, I'm sweating in here. That's why I'd miss that flip. This thing flips like a beast. This is the Hinderer Maximus. Comes in all kinds of colors and combinations of materials. For me, it's carbon fiber with titanium that is anodized copper. And then these copper right accents right there the pivot copper back here copper the standoff is copper ah, everything else anodized and titanium man it feels nice this is a beast of a knife and smooth as silk dagger CPM 20 CV steel, so great steel. CPM CV 20 CV steel, 8.5 inch blade. 
the edges edges because there are two of them 3.1 inch the total length 8.1 inch long four ounces in weight you can see the clip you can move the clip so it's right hand left hand tip up only Oh man, I, I've seen so many colors. <laughs> you know, we're talking about a $425 knife. Uh, so it's not inexpensive. But I tell you, every time I see one of these in the different combinations and the colors, blue and, you know, louder colors and more subtle colors, <laughs> I literally, yeah, I've got a disease. I literally think of like a cigar box or some fancier box full of about six of these in different colors. I like this, Mr. Hinderer. I really do. It's a real nice knife. Yeah, it's tactical, but two blades, two edges, you know, an EDC knife can be tactical. A tactical knife can be used as an EDC knife, okay? It's not perfect for the other activity, but it's a knife. It's a sharp thing with a point. Come on. We get way too specific in this collection uh, era that we're in, but oh, what a nice knife. That's the Friday TGIF pocket dump deconstruction. Uh, tomorrow, my fingers are crossed. Please cross yours. We'll have some new uh, Spydeco knives. And then that'll be the start of a three-day new Spyderco knife run of Knives of the Day. You guys have a perfect day. Keep those pockets full. Don't forget to subscribe. Once you subscribe, hit that bell. You know, um, less than 30% of the people who watch this channel regularly, I don't mean just dropping in every now and then, but regularly are <laughs> actually subscribers um, it takes two seconds it really would help me out so subscribe you guys have a great time goodbye